Hey guys, it's Lady. So, as you can tell, I am about to get in bed. And I was on Facebook. I don't know why, because it's never a good idea to be on Facebook right before you go to bed. But, um, there was a person on there, someone I know, and she was talking about her son. Now, I don't have a problem with this person. I have nothing negative to say about this person. So this is not a video of attack on this person. She was talking about how her child was going through the terrible twos. I know it. I've been there. I am still there. Now, I see this a lot, not just from this person, but from a lot of people, okay? The terrible twos, if you don't know what it is, is exactly how it sounds it's when your toddler reaches around two years old and that's when a lot of the the acting up the crying out the falling out the all, just just all of that stuff I thought it lasted from two to three but it's twos so two three and four uh, from two to four that's the terrible twos um, and my son, he is almost four. And he even still does that stuff. You know, if he doesn't get his way, he whines, he cries and stuff like that. But here is something, parents, when you are trying to break any child's habits, especially their bad habits, do not encourage it. And by that, I mean... Especially if you have like one child and I learned this quickly when um, I just had my son and I think I was pregnant with my second baby. Excuse me. When he would want something and I wouldn't give it to him and he would fuss, fall out, cry until I gave it to him. And then I supported that bad habit by just giving him whatever he wanted. This is what a lot of parents do, just to just to just to make them be quiet. Just just here, just take it, be quiet. You're supporting the bad habit, okay? You have to break that. Just because you don't give your 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 child, your son, your daughter a toy or a cookie or or whatever it is they want. It ain't going to kill them. Let them fall out. Let them cry. Now, if they get too crazy, then I suggest taking some type of action to shut that stuff down. Okay? Okay? You, you following me? So... Um, take action, you following me, on how to shut all that acting up stuff down. He's still here, okay? So, um, so yes, when I was pregnant with my second and I realized I am not going to be doing this for two kids. No, 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 no. Kids do not run over the parents. Now, a lot of first-time parents... Or parents who only have one child um, you know they want to give their kids anything and everything to make them happy to make them quiet to make them you know act right and stuff like that but you also have to be strong and stand firm to I am the parent you are the child you will learn that I am the parent and you will not rule over me you know what I mean now, I'm not talking about this specific person. Not, I'm not talking about this one specific person, but I just saw her status and it reminded me of every other person's status that I have seen lately that has a child that, um, that are first time parents. And my daughter, who is two, is now starting her terrible twos. Uh, same thing with her. Same thing with her. I don't treat my son differently than I treat my daughters. 
uh, you will all learn the same. You will all be um, taught the same, disciplined the same, loved the same, showed structure the same. Um, but yeah, don't let your kids run over you, okay? How And don't hold your kids up so high. And I, I feel so bad, so, so bad. And I also feel enraged at the same time. Like when you know you when you're out and about at the store in the park or whatever and you see some badass kid, yeah, I said it, badass kid, throwing a temper tantrum so bad, you know, hitting mom, hitting dad, no one wants to do anything. Maybe because because they're out in public. Or they don't know how to handle the situation. Let me handle that. Let me handle that situation. Because if I ever, ever, ever acted up so bad the way kids are acting up now in public. People, you do not know. You can't even imagine the ass whooping my mama would have given me. Now since... It's 2016 and spankings are so frowned upon and it's put in the child abuse category is not acceptable now. I say bull. Bull. I was spanked as a kid. I turned out fine. You know, a swat or two on the butt is not going to kill him. It's not going to kill her. If anything, it's going to make you more tired because that means you have to do extra work. But, um, anyway, it's, it's after midnight. It's almost one o'clock in the morning and I'm up here making a video. So, don't let your kids run over you. Um, my kid, my, my kids have tried. They have failed. Um, because at the end of the day, I am your mom. You are my children. You do not run anything up in here. Um, I tell you when to take a nap. I tell you when it's time to eat. I tell you you better eat. And I tell you when to go to bed. And I tell you anything else that I want to tell you, what I want to tell you, and how I want to tell it to you. You know, I'm not... I'm not saying that, you know, I'm making them like, I'm not saying that I'm like their drill sergeant or whatever, or they have to be like little, little army men soldiers or anything like that. But, you know, I'm going to let you be a kid, but you're not going to run over me. I'm only going to give you so much distance and so much leeway before you, you know, I know you're going to try to overstep your boundaries and push my buttons. That's not going to fly with me. And don't let it fly with you. Because look, check this out. Okay. Follow, follow me. Follow me. You have a kid. Kid is entering those terrible twos. Some kids, they're only in for their terrible twos for a minute. And then they know what's what and how things are going to roll. And then they, you know, they're good. Some kids are a little bit more stubborn. Some kids just, just, just want to throw any type of fit, any type of way, anywhere. But let me tell you something. Stay with me. You raise a child like that, a child who thinks that if they scream and cry and fuss and whine so much that you are eventually going to give in to anything that they want, you are going to have, and I've seen this, people I went to school with, people that I see out in the world, you have bratty toddlers. They're going to become bratty kids who are going to turn into bratty teenagers and think that everything is entitled to them simply because they are living and Reality check, that is not how life works. Okay. You're the parent. You're supposed to say no once in a while. 
you're supposed to say no don't do that why because i said so that's why bring old school parenting back okay i'm 20 i'm 22 and i am so not with the parenting skills that that so many people are pushing now because simply because of this I'm only going to tell you to do something so many times before you know that I'm serious. You staying with me? I'm only going to tell you so many times. Then I'm going to have to show you that I am serious. Stay with me. Stay with me. So, so many people have timeouts in special places. For their kids, you know, in the corner, you know, face the wall, or you have to sit in the chair somewhere. People. I can guarantee you while your kid is in that corner in that chair, they're not thinking about anything that ju- that they just did. They're not. They're not. They're not thinking of that toy that they took from their little sister. Or the little brother. They're not thinking of the glass bowl they just broke after you told them not to touch it. They're not thinking of that. They're thinking of what a kid their age thinks about. They really and and it's stressful. It's stressful for parents because we're adults and we know when we do something and we do something wrong and we think about what we do kids do not have that you know what i mean you know kids they're like they do one thing and then when it's over they go into the other thing and then when that's over they go into something else they don't they don't sit and they think oh i did that and i shouldn't have done that and this is how i would have done it differently no they don't think like that they don't think like that so i'm not saying you have to be harsh on your child or your children, but I'm saying, don't you let them run, you know, run rampant over you. You know, you feel me? You feel me? And, you know, that that's, that's just a lot of stress. You as a parent, you don't have to go through. Okay, I am telling you, you can, you can shut so many stuff down tonight and your child's not going to like it, but tough titty because life, you're not going to like life at all. You know, you're going to have plenty of people to say, no, don't do that. Why? Because I said so. You know, if you, you, you can't be, you cannot be the giver and the, the playful parent all the time. Sometimes you have to be the bad cop. Sometimes you ha- you have to say no. You have to put this, a stop to things. So this is what I think. If you have a child, okay, and I'm talking to a lot of people that I know personally, a nice group of people who have kids already um, and who are working on their families, you know, And for any of y'all who are out there, first time, new moms, new dads, new whatever, um, maybe if you just adopted a child and you're not really sure on what to do and they're in this stage, whatever, what, um, whatever fit, temper tantrum, falling out any of that stuff whenever that stuff happens shut it down right then and there don't do that wait till we get home because they're not going to remember what they did at the store 30 minutes earlier they're not going to know i have gotten so many bad negative looks for shutting down some of the attitude that i was getting from my kids out in public you guys don't even know the ass whooping I would have gotten. My mom would have took taken me into that bathroom 
Does anyone remember that? Does anybody remember you keep it up? I'm going to take you to the bathroom. Does anyone remember that? Besides me, I remember that. I remember that. And I wasn't a bad kid. I wasn't, I wasn't a bad kid, but I just remember certain parts in my life <laughs> as a child where I knew I did the wrong thing and an ass whooping was coming, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm out, I'm out in the store. My kids act up. I shut that down so fast. You know, and I've taken my kids to the bathroom. Stay with me. Um, not to spank them. Uh, but to give them a nice firm talking to. Uh, you know, you're not going to be acting like this out when we're in public. Uh-uh. You know, and me personally, I am not trying to raise no baby kids. I am really not. Okay, so, and every kid is different, people. Every kid is different. So, what might, what might work for your son may not work for your daughter. Or what, what may work for your middle child may not work for your fifth child. You know, so, you have, you have to figure out, you have to know your child. Know if you have more than one, know the difference in personalities. Because even at a young age, kids, they have their own personalities. I have three little babies running around here. All three of them have different personalities. But they all have one similar trait. They all can get on my nerves. <laughs> and I love them to dearly. To dearly. I love them to death. Those are my babies. I would not trade them for anything in this world, okay? I would not trade them to save my own life. I love my babies. But kids get on your damn nerves. <laughs> If you want to be honest, let's be honest. Kids can get on your damn nerves. Um, but that's okay because that's their job. Because they're babies. That's their job. But don't let them run rampant over you. Because at some point in time, you will regret it. Um, I have seen this done through people that my mom knew. Through people that I knew and grew up with. And went to school with. And graduated with. They were bratty people in elementary school there were bratty people in middle school they were hella bratty in in high school and and beyond okay so and and look at this check this out if you want to hold your kid up so high on a pedestal even though they cannot put gas in the car food in the fridge or keep the lights on you are doing them more harm than good because at some point in time that child is going to get out on their own and they need to figure out their own lives and they're not going to be able to handle real life stuff because you've put them so high on a pedestal their whole lives and given them everything and never taught them how to work for what they want, how to, how to save money, how to budget, how to do any of that stuff. You know, and they're not going to know what to do and they're going to lose their mind. And then you know what they're going to say? You didn't teach me. You never showed me. How can I know what to do when you were never there to show me or to teach me? Or you never, you know, stuff like that. So everything, just, 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 you want to be a loving, caring parent. I understand. I want to be the best mom I can be. But raising my kids up high when they're under me. Is you know is is not gonna happen and um and you know the terrible twos that's just the beginning and if you think you know you can just go on through these terrible twos and just ignore all the the fussing and the temper tantrums you have some a lot of work a lot of work and I know this from personal experience with myself with my first child and then I had my second child and it's just like oh no nope 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 I had you up here I love you you are up here in my world but in reality I am above you you are my child you know so that is just my thoughts and feelings um if you are the person 
who I commented on on your Facebook status. This was not any type of personal attack on you. It really was not. Um, this is just something that I've seen from many, many people that I know um, and out in the world. Out in the regular real world. Um, but it's one of those times, it's like almost one o'clock in the morning when somehow you want to go to sleep but your brain takes off on so many different directions that you don't even know what to do so yeah i am gonna take my tired self to bed Whew. and i'll be talking to you guys later peace out